Hey everybody, welcome to the Bob and Weave channel. My name is Caitlin and today we will be sewing the Janie pouch, which is a free pattern by Kaya Papaya Designs. I will have a link in the description box below where you can find this pattern. I will not be giving out any measurements, so do check that out if you want to make this bag. I have also included some mail opening clips at the end of this video and also some sewing related Christmas presents that I received. So for this Janie pouch I am using a cotton woven fabric, um, the butterfly fabric that will be on the bottom and I have interfaced that with SF101 and then for the top accent piece in the zipper tab I am using a marine vinyl from Joanne and then for the lining I am using a black waterproof canvas. I hope that everyone had a great Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate and I do hope that you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really enjoyed making the Vlogmas videos, so I'm going to try and keep a more regular schedule, which I'm hoping to upload every Friday. Now that the interfacing has been properly fused to the fabric, I am just taking my ruler and marking the center line on each piece of fabric and marking that so that I know it's the center. And then I'm marking the other lines that the pattern calls for where it'll be folded. Now it's time to make the folds in our fabric and I just like to take my scissors and make a little snip at the ends of the lines where they're marked so that I can fold it over and know where those lines are. And that is something I got from making the card slots on the Winslet wallet from Hold It Right There and I just think it's genius and I've been using that ever since and it really does help.
Now that I have my fabric pleated, I'm going to take it over to my cutting mat and make sure that it matches the same length as the vinyl accent.
So I love the overall design of this bag. The only thing that I think I would change on the next one is adding a little more interfacing on the bottom pieces. I think I would add a layer of SF-101 and then a layer of Decoville Light just on the bottom fabric pieces. That way it's as structured as the vinyl piece on the top. And here is the finished Janie pouch. I think next time I will also use a smaller scale print on the bottom fabric. So we went to Joann's this weekend and I got some more sock yarn to make some more socks for myself and my husband and then I also picked up some fabric and I have realized that I have a problem buying green and blues and fabric because that's all I got here. Oh and some black. I love this print. And I also got some vinyl in green and black. And I picked up this bobbin box just so that I can have some pre-wound bobbins so that I don't run out. And I think the industrial size bobbins will fit in this. Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. So that is what I picked up from Joanne's. So I just went and picked up the mail and this was in there and I believe it is a seam roller that I ordered. Let me see if I can get this open. Oh, yep. Awesome. This will help with my, sorry it's so crinkly, with my quilt. Um, so maybe I won't have to iron as much because y'all know I love ironing. I actually hate it. But this, you just take and lay your seam down the way you want it and then roll over it and that should help it stay. And I ordered this off of Amazon and it says Richard. <laughs> I don't know if that's the brand or not. Surely it is. Yeah, I think that'll help. So my waterproof canvas from Fabric Wholesale Direct finally decided to show up today. So I am going to open that and y'all can see what colors I got. It looks like we have something extra in here. I completely forgot that I ordered on Cyber Monday and they threw in a cordless electric scissors. I've never tried these before. That looks awesome. I've heard they're really loud, so I can't wait to try this out. And here are the colors that I got. I got five yards of each in the teal, which this is the wrong side. There's teal, silver, black, and then ivory, which I seem to use the most of, I think. So I'm glad that's finally here so I can have some more choices on lining colors because I only have black left from my last order. Now I thought I'd share some sewing related things that I got for Christmas presents. These are some Tula Pink scissors, the six inch straight scissors. 
so pretty and then these are the eight inch fabric shears I can't wait to try those out and then I also got some more clips because I seem to break all of mine and that's what I got sewing related for Christmas so that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will be back next Friday with a new video.